Hi guys, welcome back to Easy Cooking the New Zealand way. Now today, I'm going to show you how to pull it up. John Dory. There we go. Now I caught this one this morning. I put it in the fridge to set a little bit. And uh, so I'll just go a little bit slow. It's been about nine years since I've pulled it one of these, so it's all about remembering, but there's this little, there's this bone just behind the, behind this bin here, there's this bone. And I just sort of pull that up, hopefully you can see that, pull that up. And we're going to, this is the gut cavity here. This, this is the gut cavity here. So from this bone we're going to do a slice from just behind the head here, down through there, and then we're going to just come off and just there's not a lot of meat here. Alright? So hopefully you can see what I'm doing. And now just like with any fish, we just run a knife along the skin. This knife is a bit sharper than what I thought. And it's been about nine years since I've eaten John Dory, because it's been about nine years I've lived in Taranaki, um, New Plymouth, cut across the tail there. And I come from Tauranga where I've caught so many of these things that I'm sick of eating them. So I've never targeted them until today, nine years on. And I end up getting this one, which is uh, just on, just over two kilos. So it's a bit of a memory game, trying to remember where to make these cuts. So what we've done is I've just cut around the border on the tail, around the border. Now, because this is quite a good pillaging knife, as you can see. It's a sword made in New Zealand. Most of the flesh just comes off. We just want to run that knife along those bones. Now, John Dory is one of the cleanest fish to fill it. Just because of the simple fact that it hasn't got scales. A lot of people will say that it's a nicer fish to eat, but I'm, just, I'm kind of hoping that this is going to be uh, nice to eat again. A lot of people would prefer it over snapper. Like I said, I, I caught so much to it that in Tauranga that, um, that I got sick of it. And I was just basically catching it to uh, feed the cats. Yeah, I'll just turn this around so that you can um, actually watch. watch what I'm doing. But I don't want to go too fast and lose you. So, so now by the time we get halfway down there, I can feel all those bones. Uh, we're down to the spine now, or what we could call the spine, but we'll just continue. A really good, really good knife, guys. I urge you to get a really good. They don't stay sharp for long. You got to forever dress, keep dressing them. I've got my trusty steel here. The idea is to get as much meat off the bones and leave the bones there.
comes off with it. Grab my plate. Put that there like so. That's a big pullet. But this this weighed in. I, I took. I was being nosy at what it was eating, and I empty half to half of the guts, and it's been eating little baby flounder, little bottom feeds. Um, <coughs> And so this weighed in just over two kilos. As you can see, all just bone now. Now we just turn her over and we repeat the process. So that bone, this is probably my easiest side for fillet because it's been right handed. Um, pull that bone up with the finger and with the knife. Just give us a, a bit of a tickle up. Problem with real flexible knife there. Then you just turn that. We don't we, we don't want to pop the guts. And just make a mess. Just straight off through them through there. And now we're just gonna do that borderline again. And you almost cut cut down to your you're running the knife on the bone, but not cutting through the bone. You know what I mean. Now you can leave it like that. Don't don't do that border there. Don't do the bottom. You come through, pull it, then you can flip it out and then skin it. I'll, I'll actually do it with this one. So that's taking the whole pull it off. Let's see if I can still do it. Eh? This is fresh, this is quartered at about, wouldn't, would have been before 10 o'clock this morning. It's now half past five-ish. So it's just been chilling all day, just chilling, relaxing in the fridge, cooling down. It's easier to pull it a, pull it a fish once it's sort of chilled down a bit. Um, just, just makes the flesh a lot more easier to work with. Very easy fish to catch here in New Zealand in harbours um, or around rocky outcrops. So this was caught in, uh, in Plymouth in the harbour. Oops, we've got a mistake there, but we'll be right. Now, so you catch them on live bait. Um, as you can see there, mouth open. Quite, quite big. they got little tiny teeth. Don't worry about them. So, if you can see that, then we just pull that over. So it's still attached to the fish now. I haven't cut it off the bottom. And then we're going to skin it. We're going to hopefully skin it. And uh, not leave too much flesh. Sorry, we end up with a, a line of bones. John Dory, nothing, eh? Such a clean fish. And that's his jacket back on there. Beautiful. Now, I have been better in the past. Well, this is nine years on. A um, little tiny bit of meat left on those bones, but hey. You know, if it's your first time, that's going to be a lot. Here's the row. A 
Again, the eating with fish fry. That's a big row set. Sorry, I hope, I hope you guys can see. Mm, one on the other side. Two big rows. Now, if you take the fillet right off, like we did with the first one, I'm just going to show you how it's going. So we lay it down, put your finger right where the tail was. Right, so that's the tail end. That, that's the head end. That's the tail end. I'll put that down right in like that to get the knife. Let's give it a bit of a... Another couple up, just a couple. Now you want to get the knife flat and out. So just go in, nice and flat now basically. I might have it a bit too sharp. Never did that before, have you? Too sharp. You just work, work it through. And that's the skin. That's our fillet. Beautiful. That's a beautiful fillet, that. Now I'm going to go cook that up. But I'll, I'll show you how I'll cut it up. There's seams in it. Just like that. See? You'll see. Here's one that's not cut. you see a seam in it. So I just cut down the seams. And then cut down that seam. So you get three out of one side. And because the kids don't usually eat as much as the adults, right? Unless you've got fussy adults and hungry kids. So out of one side we've got one, two, and then a kid's fillet. See? If you wanted to tidy it up a bit. Which I'm not fussy, but that's a bit of the belly. A kid's fillet and two adult fillets. Obviously this is off a big, big John Dory, and uh, they don't always get this big. You're not always going to catch one this big. But I, no matter what size they are, I always seam them. Oh. Just run your fingers through the seam and it's just a, it's, it's, it's just a little membrane that holds the muscles together. So we'll give that a bit of a dress up. And I'll try to link a uh, good fishing channel when I'm mates up north uh, catching kingfish and doing a lot of rock fishing and all that. And so he'll give you some fishing tips. But until then, if you go out and catch yourself a John Dory, this is how you fill it. So I'm going to go cook this for dinner. And uh, hopefully I enjoy it. Until next time. Keep safe.